So the next part of our lesson on work is where does all the work go? When I do work to something and I apply a force on it, say I apply a force on this ball and I push it and I move it a displacement, when I'm done, what happens to that work? It surely doesn't just disappear, so it has to go somewhere. What we're going to find out in this section is that all that work is going to go into changing the energy of the object. So one of the ways that it can change that energy is it can go into what we refer to as kinetic energy or energy of motion. So in this particular case, if I take this ball and I physically push on it so I am doing work to it, then I know that my work is going to go into something. And in this particular case, basically if I throw the ball, I am working on it, and then I release it, all of that work turns into the change in kinetic energy of that ball. So it went from not moving to now it's moving. If I could actually measure that velocity, I would know exactly how much work I did, and I could find that. And that's what we're going to be working on in this next section, is that work going into changing kinetic energy.